Hey, what's up guys? Mike here back with another video and we're going to talk about Hydrogen OS on the OnePlus 3. Now this ROM is freaking dope, like straight up. Now it's going to be very unique, a lot different than what you're normally used to from a OnePlus perspective or stock Android, but I really like this. It's actually a lot different. Now you are going to notice the Hydrogen launcher and it's going to have this iOS vibe to it. So let me go ahead and explain why it feels like iOS. First and foremost, when you pull down your notification tray, you're not going to have your quick setting toggles in this particular manner anymore. You do have a setting tile over here, but this is going to pull you into an apps notification management drawer or SEB setting menu. Now you can hit the priority display, so this will actually wake your device and show you what is going on, but depending on your applications that you choose and which priority modes, and you can go in here and set each one specifically in which manner you want to use it for. Pretty interesting, right? Now, if you swipe up from the bottom here, much like iOS, this is going to be where all your quick settings are. I think it's pretty cool. And it actually floats in pretty well with the background of your launcher. So it goes right up to where your dock system is, basically. Now, you are going to have your quick settings up here for your applications, such as Torch, your calculator, your clock. And there's one that you guys are going to like. You have the stock camera. The OnePlus stock camera is actually built into this ROM and fully functional. So you do get those lock on targets. You can adjust the brightness on the fly. You can lock it. You can go into your other modes by swiping over, depending on which orientation you're in. And you can set your grid sizes and all that great stuff, your HDR settings. So yeah, full stock camera with this ROM. Big thumbs up there. But going back into this quick setting tile here, you will also have the option to go up again. So what I will show you real quickly is if you want to go into an edit mode, you swipe up, then you swipe up again, and now you can actually edit your quick toggle. So if you long press, you can drag them to wherever you want to. Now you will have eight active at all times. You cannot get more than eight currently, but you can drag the other ones up to where you would want to replace them with if you want to enable different ones. Now they only give you the lock buttons, a VPN, a hotspot, and an NFC button on top of what you already have on the actual defaults. Now you do have your brightness slider down here at the bottom, but one cool thing is you can dump it straight into ambient display without going into your advanced settings. Another thing you're gonna find is that if you swipe down on your launcher, and it doesn't matter which page you're on here, it can be any page, just swipe down, and this puts you into a search menu. So you can actually just start searching for a specific application, and you can find it that way if you forgot where you put it. And if you long press up here where your wallpaper is and your clock, you'll get your advanced launcher settings. So you'll see your clock style, you'll have your background image and your blur option for your wallpaper. Now, one thing really cool about this is that if you go in here and tap on a different wallpaper, it changes your background color options based on that wallpaper you choose. So you'll see these change automatically based on your wallpapers. And that is freaking awesome. So I can go into a darker color or I can go into one of the browns that it's finding in the back there and change that on the fly, and then it will become available on your actual display. So again, you have long press here for your launcher settings, slide down for search, and then if you just tap on it, you get your card settings based on the actual launcher here. So you get your cards, you get some notes, you get your one day and your actual calendar. And you can go into a settings menu here and you can actually disable which one you want to disable or you can actually prioritize and then you also will have the ability to change your folder settings. So you can see here, I do have folders already made. So you can actually go into the folder and you can see that there are pages within the folder and you can actually slide between different folders through here as well. And you can also drag your apps around. So you don't necessarily have to put them anywhere in particular. You can pretty much slide them anywhere you want. You can also long press here on the page and then you can dump these all into a temporary holding position and then you can create a new folder based on the apps that you pick so if you had a bunch of games you could pick a bunch of games and then select the folder and then you can name it two games or whatever the apps may be now if you made a mistake and you want to get them out of there just long press again open the folder put them back in your temp and you can basically select which ones you want to go in priority so you can just tap on the ones you want to place them where you want them. And you can do that through any page system you want or any folder until you are ready to go. So I think that the launcher on this is pretty unique. It's definitely a lot different. It's pretty cool. And that's just the actual front end. Now, if we get into the actual settings here, 
I can actually show you what else is involved feature wise. Now, most of this is going to look the same, except they do give you this display and sound menu, which gives you a three key in Zen mode. Now, what that means is that is all of your priority options here. So if you go over here to your priority switch, you're going to see a unique UI that's a lot different. So you have your bell, you have your do not disturb, and then you have your complete silent mode. And you can adjust your settings on those modes basically through here. So you can hit also vibrate for calls for your ring patterns. Uh, do not disturb mode. You have some different options here to choose from uh, favorite contacts, your repeat incoming calls. So you can do it within five minutes uh, and then allow these people to call me. So you can let certain people or certain contacts come through your do not disturb mode. And then you have your silent mode, which is either vibrate or not vibrate. So you do have some customization here that is built in. In the sound options, there's not too much going on here, but if you go all the way to the bottom, you're gonna find your system information. So you have your touch sounds, dial tones, your screen locking, vibrate on touch, and earphone audio settings is gonna be a little bit different. So if you tap on this, once you plug in your audio jack, you're gonna see that you can actually enable different presets based on your headphones or headsets, and you'll have an audio switch that you can turn on or off. Now, if you go back into display mode, there are a couple new features here. One of them that is really cool is this read mode. So it will actually change your overall color temperatures depending on if you are, let's just say, laying in bed at night. You don't want that extremely bright color hitting your eyes. So you can go in here and adjust this to anything you want based on the strength values. Underneath this, we have an actual color temperature control. So you can actually adjust the color temperature yourself manually. And they give you a couple sample images. So you can actually tell the difference between different actual colors. And you can just go in here and use a slider. So you can go to a cooler temperature or a warmer temperature, or if you made a mistake or you just want to go back to the original default settings, you just hit reset. Go down a little bit more and you will be able to change your font size as always, but this really cool feature is the dark mode. So you can actually go to a full dark mode, which gives you some blue icon buttons. It will bake into your quick toggles, so you get dark mode there as well. You'll get the dark mode on your notifications, and you will also get it burnt into your actual dialer. Down below that, we do have our button backlights. So you can actually disable the backlights if you want to on your buttons. Notification light you can disable as well. Now you do have lock screen wallpapers in here as well. So you can actually select a wallpaper for your lock screen. Under that, we do have our regular app permissions. So in here, you'll be able to do some really nice stuff. Now you will be able to do the unknown sources. This is where you're going to install apps yourself under your own control. That's where you're going to find that. It's not typical like other or standard stock or other ROMs where it's going to be located in security. So you're actually going to find it in your app permissions here. Under there, we do have our IQ settings. And in here is where you're going to find a lot of your customization. So you do have the overall button customization where you can go left or right handed. This is just basically going to swap the two button options on your hardware buttons. Below that, we have this really unique feature, which is called scheduled power on and off. So this will actually turn off your phone at a specific time and turn it back on at another specific time. So if you're sleeping at night and you want it to turn off from two in the morning and you want to wake up at six o'clock, you can make it turn on at that exact time. Another thing that I found, I did not test it yet, but if you go into your clock setting, so if we type in here clock, you can actually use the stock clock that comes with it. And if you go down here to the settings, I noticed this really cool feature where you can actually enable it to turn on the alarm even when the phone is off. Now I didn't test this, but if this actually works and it actually makes an alarm while your phone is turned off, that's pretty cool. So that's something that's really neat with this is that scheduled power on and off. Under that we do have the press power button twice for the camera operation. So you can enable that or disable that. You do have double tap to wake the screen. There is a long press home button to deactivate the screen as well which I already applied. So you can use that home button to turn off the display, double tap it to wake it back up if you want to. And then we do have the standard draw your circle, draw the Vs to activate the flashlight, draw a circle for the camera, long press the home button to lock the phone as I mentioned before. You have your music controls here, your typical OnePlus stock features which are burned in. You do have your three finger screenshot. So if you swipe down with three fingers, you get a screenshot there. And you have a flip to mute option which is kind of weird, but you have it. And then the pocket mode. So if you have your device off, it will check the priority or the proximity sensor. Now they do have a system update here, which is basically an OTA, which you can choose to use manually, or you can flash it through this. And if you go into about phone, you can of course enable the developer settings just by tapping anywhere in this particular area. 
And the one thing you are going to notice with this ROM is that it doesn't have an advanced reboot. It's the only negative for me that I can say uh, you just don't have that advanced reboot. So it does have this really unique power off cycle where you get this power off button on the top and if you slide it down, it gives you a pretty cool animation. Kind of just fades to black and then completely turns off your device. So that's pretty cool, but I would have rather seen like a, another button down at the bottom where you could go into a reboot or a soft reboot. Now I can't really comment on battery life just yet with the stock ROM as I haven't had it on here long enough. I've basically been using this ROM for the past maybe six hours total. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it overall. But uh, that pretty much sums up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely leave some feedback down below. Check out the description. Hit that like button. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.